As electric vehicles present an ideal solution to most pollution problems and are slowly taking over the classic cars, charging them remains an issue. Though there have been several attempts to create charging stations at various points, they often take too much time and mostly crowd out. Amidst the troubles, Norway has come up with a unique solution to the problem, as they are set to introduce wireless charging roads. Yes, you heard this right. They are charging available on the streets without any cables. However, initially this technology is only for taxis, but soon it will be everywhere as the world progresses. This mind-blowing technology needs to be addressed. That's why today we have decided to talk about how Norway's wireless charging roads work. But before we get started, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more interesting videos like this one. And having said that, let's get into the video. Norway has been one of the top distributors and supporters of electric vehicles and has already announced that every new car sold after 2025 will be fully electric. As the number of electric vehicles kept on increasing on the streets of Norway, they had to come up with a charging solution. So, they came up with a unique solution for its taxi service called the Electric City. The plan is to charge the cabs as they are on the road through induction technology. Special charging pads have been installed beneath the taxis and on top of the streets. Between rides, the cabs can go on top of the space and they will be charged due to the induction phenomenon. Despite being a small-scale setup, the pads will allow charging of up to 75 kilowatts entirely without cables. Norway City Oslo will become the world's first city to install such a wireless induction-based charging facility. The induction technology is much simpler and requires minimum effort. Being 100% environmentally friendly, the technology is set to replace the world's other energy resources. However, despite being a completely environmentally friendly way to produce energy, the process would be utterly green if the electricity is made from a green source. Fortunately, that is not a problem for Norway, as most of the electricity generated in the country is from hydro and wind sources. The government is one of the cleanest in terms of pollution and is the world's leading user of electric vehicles. The charging works through the basic principles of electromagnetic induction. An electric charge is sent through a thick coil of wire, generating an electric current. The force, in turn, causes an electric current in a second coil some distance away. In this case, the charge is sent by the charging pads on the road and is received by the coil of wire attached to the car's bottom surface. There are also some limitations in this technology, as both sources need to be placed at a small distance to ensure the charge reaches the coil. That's why the car's positioning on the ramp matters a lot, and to ensure maximum charging, the vehicle must be placed in complete synchronization with the road's charging pad. This is the reason why this charging technology is often referred to as near-field charging. The process eradicates any long cables, waiting to get in line, and plugging or unplugging the charging cables. As long as you are parked well on top of the charging point, you would not need to worry about anything else. The technology will be widely accessible on the roads of Oslo, and the taxis can charge while they are waiting for the next ride. However, such a big plan could not be completed by just one organization, so various tech giants have stepped in to aid the program. Among them is the Finnish clean energy company Fortrum. The company is long-term collaborator of Norway's taxi industry and will be heavily involved in managing the cost of the infrastructure of this upcoming technology. Alongside them, two of Norway's best car companies have also lined up to be a part of the green initiative. Jaguar and Land Rover are set to be involved in this scheme as well, and by 2023, they are looking to set up charging stations at a taxi rank in the streets of Oslo. However, this process takes a long time due to the complexities involved in the technology and the fact they have to dig up the roads to install the charging wires and source underneath. The taxis will have to be equipped with a unique coil and wiring that will help them charge through the wireless system. The taxis would quickly drive up to the charging spots and get their battery charged up during the rides. Instead of wasting energy and emitting fuel, the cars would be receiving renewable energy in a step to completely clean Norway. However, Norway is only able to pull it off due to various economic and logistical factors. First, Norway has a population of 5.3 million people, and it is easy to experiment with something with a smaller audience. Secondly, 
Norway is not home to any automotive company that might have fought against this technology. Also, Norway has exempted any tax from electric vehicles and gives other benefits like free tolls and parking to owners of electric cars. The vast infrastructure challenges means its everyday use is not on the immediate horizon. For now, Norway and its taxi industries might be the perfect testing ground. The country already has the highest rate of electric vehicles globally, and its relatively small population allows for changes like this to be made relatively quickly and unobtrusively. What may be just distant points in a road right now might turn out to be a much broader project like a complete street for charging. Such large-scale advancements might be on the corner but require a lot of capital and infrastructure. Nevertheless, these wireless roads in Norway are just another step in the right direction in hoping to see much more green and clean world. Well, that brings us to the end of our video. Comment right below what you think of this super technology and how the world would benefit from this. Before going anywhere, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more thrilling videos like this one. Until the following video, stay tuned.